Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hexjibber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on using Flash with Illustrator. Now, Illustrator is a great program for creating graphics in. Some people really like using Illustrator to draw in, other people really like using Flash. One of the great new features since CS3 has been that you can select something in Illustrator, which I'm in at the moment, copy it, and import it straight into Flash. So I've just clicked paste. It's asking me whether I want to paste as a bitmap, which I don't. I want to keep it as vectors. If you don't understand the difference between bitmaps and vectors, check out my tutorial on bitmaps versus vectors. I want to paste it using the Illustrator file import preferences. I want to apply recommended import settings to resolve incompatibilities. And if you've got any layers, you can maintain those by clicking that box. So there we go. I've got my star that was from Illustrator. I pasted it straight into Flash. And it's brought it in. If I double click on it, it's brought it in as a drawing object. And within that drawing object, we've got a fill and a stroke. So just like we would in Flash. So that's brilliant. That gives us full control over it. So I can now edit this star in Flash just as I would in Illustrator, albeit with different tools. And you can see that it's renamed my layer Flash Illustrator CV. But what happens if I draw something in Flash and I then want to take it into Illustrator? You'd think it would be as simple as copying it and then just pasting it straight back into Illustrator. But let's try that. So I've copied my star, Control C or Command C in Flash. And I'm gonna try, if I delete that star in Illustrator, I'm gonna try and paste that back into Illustrator. Let's see what happens. Okay, now this looks okay, but let's zoom in. You can see what's happening is it's pasted this image into Illustrator as, guess what, a bitmap. Now that's no good if you wanted to use your nice, clean vector graphics from Flash in Illustrator. Perhaps you want to export them and make them much bigger. One of the biggest advantages of vectors is that they're infinitely scalable. So importing the bitmaps, not really very good. But don't despair, since CS4, there's been a new file format called FXG, which enables you to export vectors from Flash and import them seamlessly into Illustrator. So we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna go into Flash, and I'm gonna go to File, Export, Export Image, and I'm working in my uh, Illustrator folder, and I'm going to click on my folder FXG, change the format from a JPEG image to an Adobe FXG. And I'm gonna call that working with illustrator.fxg. Click on save. So now I'm gonna go into Illustrator, I'm gonna close my current document, untitled one. And I'm gonna go to file, open, Go to my Illustrator file, into FXG, and open this working with Illustrator file. And you can see, there we go. We get our 1280 by 720 work environment from Flash. If I zoom into that, you can see we've got our nice crisp vector lines that aren't breaking up into pixels because they're not a bitmap, they're a vector. So if you're like me and you really like the drawing tools in Flash, but often want to use the flexibility of Illustrator to compile your vector graphics and export them for print, then FXG is the way to do it. Have a go yourself, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hi, if you enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out the Hexjibber Colouring and Activity book on my website, hexjibber.com. It's suitable for kids and adults alike, and you can get it from Amazon, Play.com, and WH Smiths. Cheers.